They that understand among the people shall instruct many. You gotta see that we are living this life again. You brothers understand. Your job is to instruct many. You damn right I'm mad, because my people are oppressed. Everywhere in America there's a ghetto, there's a black man or Hispanic man there. How long, you simple ones? How long, ones? you simple ones? Will you love simplicity? You love simplicity. And the scorn of delight. And they're scorning. Uh -huh. And fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge. Uh -huh. You talk about blacks, you talk about Hispanics, you talk about Native Indians, you are the children of Israel. Christ died for you only, and you must protect. That's right. That's right. He gonna get this work. That's right. For us. That's right. As he will do to this, this nation here. Now. Yes. Where's Stun? Yes. Where's Stun? Yes. What is the connection of your message to the salvation of our soul? What's your nationality? Me? Philippines. Philippines. Well, this, this Bible's not for you. What? You come from the line of Japheth. How can I be saved? You can't, because the Bible's not for you. It's only for the Israelites. Yes, 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 yes. You mean salvation is only for the black people? I made that point. I made that point. Let the Bible prove it. That's the wrong point. You mean salvation is only for the black the Bible's going to bear witness, OK? Now, bring that out. You can let that Bible bear witness, but that is the wrong point. OK? Because this man is just as human as me you. Okay? When you God divided the nations, read, Regardless of the whole earth, said, of the whole earth, come on, he said a ruler over God every people. God said a ruler you over every people. God. Every people has their own rulers, their own God. Okay, read. But Israel, but who? But Israel, but Israel is the Lord's portion. But God said Israel is his portion. That's right. He chose the Israelites over all the nations. That's right. Then you're going because to your pastor's going to tell you that God loves everyone Jesus. and believe that God is for God. everyone you and that Christ died for, for everybody. Salvation. But the Bible does not say that. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Come on. He showeth his they word they unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto Jacob. But Come on. on. His statutes and, and his judgments unto Israel. Israel. Who did he show his statutes to? Unto no. Israel. Sister, no. listen. I don't this is the Bible. You don't agree with the Bible? I, I totally agree with the Bible. Okay, well, we're going to read this. I don't doubt my God. Well, we're going to read at this. The same time, read it again. God he showed his word unto to Jacob. Go. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and judgments unto Israel. Oh. Unto Israel, the 12 tribes, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, read. He has not, not he, dealt not so included. with any nation. He had not done what? He has not okay, okay. dealt so with Israel. any nation. Read So God so showed his word unto Jacob, included. his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He showed them to Israel. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that, right? He has not. He has not. He has what? He has not. God has not dealt so with any nation. God didn't deal with the other nations. That's right. And as for God's judgments, the nation. 
Jesus has not the land of God. That's what the Bible says. The prophet Jonah. To the nation of the Amos. Chapter 3 of verse 1. The Gentiles be warned that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying. Who did God bring out of the land of Egypt? Was it the whole world? Read it. Oh, children of Israel. He brought Israel, you black Hispanics, out of the wilderness, That's out of right. Egypt. Well, Read. You chance. only have I known. You who? You only have I known. God has only known the Israelites. Read. Of all How the families the Gentiles? of the How earth. The Gentiles? Of all the families How of the earth. The Gentiles, the Gentiles are northern uh, kingdom. The, the ten tribes. The Hispanics. The so called.
that part again. Read that part again. Moreover, there uh, went uh, no profess. Verse six. Uh -huh. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. Uh, we can't no, keep our Sabbath uh, or ancient feasts, uh -huh. or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So if we couldn't call ourselves Jews, what were we calling ourselves? That's wonderful. Or can you give us? What were we calling ourselves? Anybody? Let's say we're in Greece, right? This is the Greek captivity. If they made a law that we cannot call ourselves Jews, what would we call ourselves? The people. The son of the Gentiles. What we call ourselves? If we were in Greece, in slavery, and they made a law that we cannot call ourselves Israelites, what would we call ourselves? Greeks. We would call ourselves Greeks. Read it again. Verse 8. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighboring cities of the heathen. A law went out. Read. By the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews. Come on. That they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifice. Uh-huh. And whoso would not conform themselves. So if we did not change ourselves or agree with the customs of Greece. Read. To the manner. And whosoever would not conform themselves uh -huh. to the manner of the Gentiles. Uh -huh. Should be put to death. Read that again. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. The Gentiles should be put to death. So if we didn't call ourselves Gentiles, we'd get put to death. That's right. That's right. right. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. Yeah. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye, ye Israelites were Gentiles, read. Carried away into these dumb idols. Because you were carried away to all nations. Right. And then you worship other gods in those nations. Right. Other idols. Yeah. The other nations' gods you serve. Very Today in America, you still serve other gods, which is not yours. Read. That was it. Give me um James 1 and 1. Gotcha. And I'll get to your question after this. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 1. Come on. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. To the 12 tribes which are scattered. Read, read it again. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. What was the book of James written to? To the 12 tribes which are scattered. They addressed them as Gentiles because we became Gentiles because we went away from God's laws and started keeping their customs and we disobeyed God's laws. That's why we're in the state that we're in today. Right? I was going to answer. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 15. Come on. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. The nations are what? Are as a drop of a a bucket. Now, if you got a, a bucket full of water, right? You you spill a little bit. Do you care about that drop? No, exactly. Because that's how God feels about the other nations. That's oh. right. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. As a drop of a bucket, read. And are counted as a small dust of the balance. But what does dust weigh? Nothing. Nothing. God looks at the nations as nothing. Read. Verse 17. Hold on, Verse 17. Come on. All nations before him are as nothing. All what? Are as nothing. All nations are as nothing. All other nations outside of you blacks and Hispanics are nothing. That's right. Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Do you really want to go there? John 3, 16. Do you really want to go there? We'll go there. Take some there. Let's prove it. Okay. Explain John 3, 16. Read it again. John 3, 16. Okay. 16. 16. Okay. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Chapter 3, verse 16. John chapter 3 and verse 16. Come on. For God so loved the world. Oh, man. God loved the world. Yay. Read. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay. Now we close the Bible. Now we close the Bible. And that's it. That's it. Does that make any sense? Just that one verse, right? We close the Bible. God loves everybody. Does that make any sense? No sense, right? Now give me Isaiah 28 and 10. I'm going to answer your first question, all right? And I'm going to get to your second question. All right? Just give me a sec. He loves the whole world. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 10. How do we read the Bible? For a precept must be upon.
on precept. When you see us teach, when you see any true prophet teach, we are going to go precept upon precept. That's why we flip from scripture to scripture, so you can get the true understanding. Read precept upon precept. Come on. Line upon line. Read. Line upon line. Uh-huh. Here a little and there a little. Here a little, there a little. Old Testament, New Testament. All right? Now go back to John 3, 16. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. For God so loved. Stop. So for God, God so loved. Who did God love? You can. Because the word love God has E-D at the end, right? What kind of word is God that? God didn't give you a humbleness. Past That's past tense. Now give me Chronicles. God didn't give, give you weakness in your heart. First Chronicles, huh? Second, Second Chronicles, yeah. chapter 9 and verse 8. Who did God love in the past? Read. Blessed be the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which delighted to set thee on his throne. Read. To be king for the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Because God loved who? Israel. He did what? God loved Israel. Loved up. Loved up. God so loved up. Who? Israel. The whole world. God loved Israel. Uh-huh. And to establish them forever. Forever. God established Israel forever. When America goes down and this wicked nation goes down, the Israelites are going to rise. That's yes, right. right. Christ is coming back to set up his government with the Israelites and put all the other nations in slavery That's under right. us. Okay? Now go back to John. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Come on. For God so loved. Who did God love? Who did God love? Israel. Israel. Read. The world. Now, the world. Is there only one world? No. No. There's many worlds. There's a sports world. There's a hip hop world. Right. There's sea world. That's right. Right? <laughs> So there's different dictions of words, of That's worlds, right. okay? That's right. Now give me um, Hebrews yeah. chapter 1 and verse 2. Bring it out. He, in these last days spoken unto us by his son, Read. who he hath appointed heir of all things, uh -huh. by whom also he made the worlds. He made the worlds. So there's many worlds. That's why it's an S at the end of world. Let me get back to you. Let me get back to you. Hold on. Hold on. The, the book of James, chapter 4 and verse 4. Come on. The adulterers and adulteresses. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? So, the friendship of the world is enmity with God. God hates the world. So what is he talking about in John 3, 16? Is he contradicting himself? God Exactly. So that's why we must go as it is written and go precept upon precept. Now listen. Now give me John 18. Uh, is that it? Okay, John 18 and 20. We're going to stay in the New Testament. All right? The book of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Bring it on. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. Jesus spake openly to the world. Read. I ever taught. I always taught. In the synagogue. In the synagogue. And in the temple. Read. Whether the Jews are. Resort. Where who? Where the Jews always resort. Who is the world? Where the Jews always resort. So Jesus only preached in the synagogues where the Jews were. He called the Jews world here. Right. Now let's go to the Old Testament. Give me Isaiah 45 and 17. Right. Here Isaiah here. chapter 45 and verse 17. Read. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Israel shall be what? Saved. Who's got salvation? But Israel shall be saved Read. in the Lord uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. Uh -huh. But ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world. What? World. What? World. world okay. Without end. So we called Israel a world without end because our kingdom is going to last forever. So Israel is a world without end. Israel is a world. And salvation is only for you blacks, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. That's right. Go back to John 3, 16. The book of John, chapter 3, and verse 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved Israel, the world, Israel, that he gave his only begotten son. Uh-huh. Is that uh, an Acts, right? Well, give me that. The book of Acts, chapter 5, and verse 31. Let's go. Verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. God raised up Jesus, read. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Uh-huh.
That's right. 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 Repentance is for the Israelites. Right. That's right. Christ that's came right. for the Israelites. Read it again. Now that's the book right. of Acts, chapter 5, and verse 31. Come on. Whom have God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince and a savior, uh -huh. for to give repentance to Israel uh -huh. and forgiveness of sins. Because Christ came to forgive us of our sins that we could not be forgiven in the Old Testament. Now go back. The book of John, chapter 3, and verse 16. Read on. For God so loved Israel, the world, Israel, that he gave his only begotten oh, Son, right. Christ for Israel, that whosoever, 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 so now, everybody's involved. Now, whosoever, that's a big word. Your pastor will skip over that. But we must get the true understanding. I'm tired of the pastors just reading one scripture and then hooting and hollering for the, the rest, rest three hours. Read them all. Right, they we gotta read everything. Together. Don't the give book a piece, of Acts, give it chapter all. two and verse twenty-one. Come on, and it shall come to pass that whosoever, the whosoever, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh huh. Ye men of Israel, who is he talking to? Ye men of Israel, who? Ye men of Israel, read. Hear these words. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Not the whole world. He said, whosoever of ye men of Israel, hear these words. That's right. All right. Now go back. The book of Joel. are the only ones who are going to be delivered. That's, that's, that's right. right. The that's only right. ones. Amen. Read John chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. For God so loved Israel, the world, Israel, that he gave his only begotten son, Christ for Israel, that whosoever was Israel, believeth in him, shall uh -huh. not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, who was that about? Uh, what's John 3.16 talking about? Who was it, who was it talking to? The Israelites. Now we're going to read up in the same chapter. All right? Just in case. Just in case. We just broke that down, sis. You do not know this Bible. You hate God's laws. That's right. You hate the Bible. Can we just read whosoever? We just, the Bible just broke that. I'll read it again. Okay. We're going to read it again. All right? We're going to read it again. We're going to read it again. Two and verse 21. The Bible. You don't know me from fucking fuck. That whosoever so you say, shall I'll call upon the name of the Lord whosoever, shall be saved. Right? Okay. Ye men of Israel. Who? Ye men of Israel. Read. Hear these words. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Now go back to John 3.16. The book of John. And go up. Read up. Chapter 3 and verse 14. Read 14. Come on. As And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Listen up. The Bible. We have, the Bible is bringing out the true the true understanding of John 3.16. Brother David, Brother David, listen. The true understanding of John 3.16. Read. John chapter 3 and verse 14. Come on. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Who was Moses preaching to in the wilderness? The Israelites. The Israelites. Who? The Israelites. We read it earlier. Read. Even so. Read. What's the son of man? serpent in the wilderness. The same way must Christ be lifted up. The same exact way. So if the serpent was lifted up to the Israelites, Christ must be lifted up to the Israelites. All right? Go back. Go to Numbers. The book of Numbers, chapter 21 and verse 6. Read out. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people and bit the people and much people of Israel died. Much people of who? Israel died. So who died?
so. Must have sent a man be lifted up. Now, is there anything in one? Yes. Give me one. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 1. Come on. There was a man, there was a man of the Pharisee. There was a man. This is the beginning of John, John 3. Okay, read. Named Nicodemus. Okay. A ruler of the Jews. A what? A ruler of the Jews. So he was a Jew. John 3, 16 is about the Jews. That's right. About the Israelites only. That's right. Not the whole world. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.